Hi there. Are you having trouble in physics? Are you to a point where you don't understand the material? Not to worry, because I'm here to help. In this 10-part video, I'm going to teach you some of the steps that you will need to know in order to improve your physics skills, such as work, acceleration, and hang time. So tear out a sheet of paper, get your pencils ready, and enjoy the study of physics. Part 1. Acceleration Acceleration is the rate of which velocity is changing. This can be in magnitude or direction. Acceleration is the change in velocity divided by time, or A equals V divided by T. Here is an example. In this clip, we see the boy walking in the park with his balloon, let's say 10 meters per second with a distance of 20 meters and 2 seconds. But in this clip, the boy's velocity changes to 20 meters per second as he begins running for the balloon. Here's a way of how you can find the acceleration. To find the change in velocity, you must subtract the overall velocity to the final velocity, or V sub F minus V sub O. You would substitute 20 meters per second minus 10 meters per second, getting 10 meters per second. Now we divide the time, which is 2 seconds, to 10 meters per second, getting 5 meters per second squared as our acceleration. Part 2 and 3, Hang Time and Projectile Motion Hang time is the amount of time it takes to stay in the air. This student throws the ball 10 meters in the air at 10 meters per second with gravity. It took the ball 1 second to get to the top of its arc and 2 seconds to come back down. Thus, it has a 3 second hang time. Now let's study the projectile motion of the ball. A projectile is an object that goes through the air, only affected by gravity. It took a parabolic trajectory at its peak pausing for the briefest moment. Part 4, Newton's Third Law In the 16th century, Newton invented the three laws of physics. We are only focusing on the third and final law. Whenever one object exerts a force on the second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first object. Let's look at this example. We see that the student is taking notes. Force pencil is acting on the paper. This is considered the action force, but there is a reaction force, and that is the paper acting with an equal amount of force on the pencil. Part 5 Collisions There are two types of collisions elastic collisions and inelastic collisions. When an elastic collision occurs, objects collide without being permanently deformed and or generating heat. For example, there are two pool balls. The black ball is at rest. When the pole strikes the white ball and hits the black one, they exchange energy. The white ball immediately stops at rest while the black ball begins to roll. An inelastic collision is completely different. Inelastic collisions occur when two objects collide and both move in one direction depending on the greater velocity of one of the objects. In this case, the white ball and black pool ball will go in the original direction of the white ball. Part 6 through 8, Energy. Energy is a core focus in not just physics, but all of science. There are several types of energy, but the three most well-known types are kinetic, potential, and mechanical energy. Kinetic energy is also known as energy of motion. It is energy that is capable of doing work. It is equal to half the mass multiplied by the square of the speed, or Ke equals a half mv squared. Potential energy is the exact opposite. It is energy that is being stored for future work. 
it is equal to the weight of an object times the height of an object, or PE equals MGH. Mechanical energy is energy due to the position of something or the movement of something. This type of energy can be in the form of either potential or kinetic energy. Part 9. Work. Now comes another core focus in physics. Work. In physics, work is applying a force that changes an object's motion. Let's take a look at this example. We see this student pushing this chair across the hallway. The force he is applying to the chair is changing the chair's motion and is making it move. Part 10. Center of Gravity The center of gravity is the point located at an object's average position of weight. An object always rotates around its center point. Mostly, the center of gravity is not at the center of an object. For example, take a look at this baseball bat. The center of gravity is right at the center of the barrel, making it the bat's rotating point. Well, that's all we have for this video. Hope you found this helpful and use this video for your future studies in physics. So long!